Our basic step is our most fundamental step that everything is based from. I'll be doing the follows part and Alan will be doing the leads part. The feet are opposite, but you're still going to do the same footwork. So follows, follow me and leader, follow Alan. I'm going to go back on my right while he goes forward on his left. One, two, three, and now five, six, seven. So I'll say the follows footwork first. You can keep practicing. Six, seven, eight. It's right, left, right, left, right, left. Again, right, left, right, left, right, left. Leader's roll goes left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, and right, left, right. Now, traditionally, we do assign counts to every step, right? There are eight counts in a musical phrase, but we only dance on one, two, three, five, six, seven. You can think of this also as quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. Let's do it again with counts. Six, seven, eight, it's one, two, three, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, five, six, seven, one more time, two, three, and five, six, seven. Now remember, you really wanna take small steps because the music can be fast. And if you're spending a lot of time transferring your weight from foot to foot, you're going to be behind the music very quickly. So small steps are your friends. Let's try it again. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, five, six, seven, small steps. Two, three, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, five, six, seven. You want to remember that every time we count a number, we're going to transfer our weight a hundred percent to the other foot. So if you're doing your basic and you see that you're having trouble being on the proper foot on the proper count, make sure that you are transferring, transferring, transferring. So I'm never split. I'm never 50, 50. Instead, a hundred, a hundred, a hundred, a hundred, a hundred, a hundred. One more time. Let's try it. Five, six, then we go one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six. Last time, and one, two, three, five, six, seven. All right, we're going to try this basic step now with a partner. My lead is going to ask for my hands about hip height. So palms facing up, and then my palms stay facing down. Follows, you're going to give the dead weight of your arms to your partner so that whenever you're going to receive a signal, you can. If you hold up your arms, then it's really hard to have two people try to manage the action. All right, so dead weight, and now we do our basic together. Starting forward on the left leads, follow-ups go back on the right. Six, seven, eight, it's one, two, three, five, six, seven again. One, two, three, five, six, seven, and one. Two, three, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, five, six, seven. Now you'll notice we don't have a lot of action here going on in the arms. It's actually more relaxed because when you're starting to use your arms to signal, this can get really distracting and confusing for a follow. So staying more neutral, a little bit of movement is nice, but more neutral will help. One more time, six, seven, eight, and one. Two, three, five, six, seven, and one. Two, three, five, six, seven. One more time. Two, three, five, six, seven. Let's try a few of these with music. Just your basics. Here we go. Five, six, seven, and one. Two, three, five, six, seven, and one. Two, three, five, six, seven, and one. Two, three, five, six, seven, and one. Each of us is going to start on the left foot, 
just in front of the hip. This is our first step. We use this to rotate our body to the back and finish facing the front. Let's try that again. It's forward in front of the hip, turn to the back, transfer your weight, and finish to the front, transferring your weight. Let's try it again. Step forward, left, to the back, and finish, transferring again onto your left. And again, we go. Left, right, left. Now, make sure you're doing three different weight changes here. It's very tempting to just go, wee, but instead you want to transfer, transfer, transfer. So during the turn, it should be three weight transfers. The second thing you want to remember is not to cross over because it makes it really tough to try to get multiple turns in the future. So I want to set you up for success, assuming that this is the beginning of your salsa journey and you're going to be an amazing dancer very, very soon. I want you to have the right technique to get there. So instead I'm stepping in front of my hip and my foot is turned out so I can use the floor during my turn. Let's try it again. Here we go, and in front of your hip, turn and transfer. Good, again, we go in front of the leg. Right, so careful you don't cross and turn. It needs to be here in front of the hip. This time we'll try it towards you. So step in front, turn out to the back, and finish facing the same direction you started. Here we go again, and step to the back, and finish. Great, so now we need to do the first three steps of the basic for the follow, and the leaders go right away. I want you to remember one thing. The follow's action steps are five, six, seven. The leader's action steps are one, two, three. So if the action is a right turn, then I do it on five, six, seven, and the leader would do it on one, two, three. You'll see that in action right now. So we're going to start, I'll start back on my right, and he'll start with the turn right away on his left. Six, seven, eight. It's one, two, three, five, six, seven. Let's try that again. Six, seven, eight, and one. Two, three, five, six, seven. And again, we go. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Last time, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, five, six, seven. Now, if we use our basic as our foundational step, we're going to do basic, right turn for the leader, right turn for the follow, and basic. So basic, right turn, basic, right turn. Let's try it together. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three. Right turn, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. And basic, two, three, five, six, seven. Right turn, two, three, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, five. Right turn, go, two, three, and go, six, seven, and basic, two, three, right turn, leaders first, one, two, three, and follows, six, seven, and one. Let's try this with a little bit of music. Basic, right turn, basic, right turn. Here we go. Five, six, five, six, seven, and basic. Right turn. Right turn. 
it looks like this. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, five, six, seven, one. So the leader's going to signal a J prep to let me know that I should turn. It just, without that beat, the hand goes like this. One, two, three. So it's called a J prep because we're drawing a J through the air. The leader takes the arm out one, back to starting, and flat hand to flat hand, three. One more time. One, two, three. Now this flat hand should end up just about forehead level on your follow. I'm gonna make sure that my elbow is in front of my shoulder and it stays there the whole time. Let's do it again. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three. Uh-huh, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three. Nice. Now, with the first three steps of your basic, you're gonna do this hand movement. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three. Again, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three. Good, so you wanna have your hand open so that you can transition against each other's hands. If we're gripping each other's hand, it's going to be really hard to do any kind of transition. So if we're here, we're just ap applying a little bit of pressure between the middle finger and the ring finger, and he swings out and up, and we get there without any trouble. Again, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three. One more time. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three. Beautiful. Now. The right turn. I'm going to step forward on my left. This is five. My partner's going to draw a halo, six, and seven. I finish facing my partner. Now, you'll notice the lead has to continue stepping every single time. You can't freeze your feet and then hope you're going to be on the right count. You should keep dancing, keep moving. Let's try it again. Six, seven, eight. It's out, back to starting, flat hand to flat hand. Now, I go forward and he goes back, five, six, seven. Now, notice the halo is flat and it goes around my head. You don't wanna just count on your wrist to draw this halo. If you do this, you're not exactly covering my head. So you wanna make sure I'm wearing the halo on the outside of my head. My follows are going to make sure this elbow stays in front of the shoulder. Why? For one, this little bit of tension is going to let you feel the signal that your lead wants. So a single turn, I can feel the pressure in my hand taking me for just a single turn and my arm is now connected to my body. If I'm soft here, I could let my arm go first and my body go second and then I'm behind the lead. So if my lead wants to do two or three turns, it's almost going to be impossible because I don't have a connection from here to here. Number two, the reason why we keep the elbow in front of the shoulder is because when I come around, I don't want to hit him in the face, right? So keeping it there would be nice and safe for his nose. Here we go, right turn. Six, seven, eight, it's one, two, three, and turn. Five, six, seven. Again, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, five, six, seven. Now notice I'm stepping five, six, and seven instead of just winding up, doing a turn and saying, ta-da, right? So I prep one, two, three. The follow is on the right. Continuing to the left foot, five. To the back, six. And seven, I finish with my weight on my left and my lead finishes on the right. Let's do it again. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, and turn. Five, six, seven. All right, let's try a basic right turn, basic right turn. Let's put it together. Basic first. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, five, six, seven. Here we go. J prep. Right turn. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, five. Six, seven, and J prep. Right turn, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, five, six, seven. Last time, one, and five, six, seven, and one. Now, the really smooth hand transition that comes out of that 
happens by opening your hand and just drawing a little C to the outside so you can transition back to this position. So maybe you can see it a little better if we're here. We ended the turn here. He opens his hand and brings it down so that we can smoothly transition back to the starting position. Let's do the same thing. Basic right turn, basic right turn, but now I'll be on this side. Six, seven, eight, and basic two, three, five, six, seven, and J prep, right turn, five, six, seven, and basic two, three, five, six, seven, and J prep, right turn, five, six, seven, one more time, basic two, three, five, six, seven, and J prep, and right turn, six, seven, and Good, I hope that's coming along. Let's try that with a little music. All right, it's going to be basic right turn, basic right turn. Don't forget about that transition. Here we go, basic first. It's five, six, five, six, seven, we go. One, J prep to right turn. And basic. J prep, right turn. Right turn, A low, transition the hand, and J press, go, and basic, J press, right turn, basic, one more time. on to our cross body lead. We use the cross body lead to switch sides with our partner. I want you to remember something. We dance in line, which means that there's always a track that we're going back and forth on. And the follow owns the line, which means the lead needs to clear it before it can go to the other side. This is what I mean. For a cross body lead, it looks like this. One, two, three, five, six, seven. So on one, two, three, my lead is going to get out of the way and I don't adjust anything because I'm facing the line. One, two, three, I do half a basic and the lead goes left, right, left to clear the lane. One, two, three. Let's do that again. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three. One more time. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three. So now the lane in front of you should be free and you should be able to walk right across. Now we'll do it from this angle so you can also see it from here. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three. So if I wanna walk straight to the back or to the other side, I can because he cleared the lane. One more time. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three. Another thing to notice here, the lead's hand should still be with the follow. Instead of pulling them across and asking me to take a big step on three, the hands are right in front of me. So a common thing that you have to look out for is, am I covering my partner on three, knowing that I'm going to the other side? Instead, you want to have space in between you and your partner on three, and the hands are still in front of you. Let's do it again. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three. Make sure as a follow, you did not change the position of your body. If you turn to face your partner, your next step is probably going to be here. So instead, I need to face the lane and have my next step step forward. One more time. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three. Last time. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three. On five, my lead is going to signal that I should go to the other side by pulling a little bit on both of my hands. So when the lead pulls, I also pull back. This is five, six, seven. When we introduced the basic, we talked about the follow having really light arms, relaxing and not having any tension. Now, when the lead Ask for tension, whether it is a push or a pull, we have to respond with a push or a pull. So during this cross body lead, 
your lead is going to pull and you'll respond with the same amount of force. Let's try it again. Six, seven, eight is one, two, three, lead pulls, I pull, six, seven. Now the feet. We're going to do it separately so you can see what each of us is doing. So I'm still a follow and he's the lead. Six, seven, eight, it's one, two, three, five, six, seven. Let's do it again from this side. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, five, six, seven. All right, now let's try it again together. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, guide your follow. Five, six, seven. Now a really common thing uh, that happens for my leads is that you get too close on two. So watch your feet. Your lead should step forward to the side and then onto the left with 100% of your weight on your left away from your partner. So on two, go ahead and freeze. Let's do a check. Let's go one, two, three. Make sure there's all the space. If on two you ended up, up here at her side, it's going to be really hard to have the leverage that you need to get her to the other side. Let's try again. Six, seven, freeze on three. One, two, three. Now, with both hands, straight line to the other side. Two, three, we go. Five, six, seven. Now, remember, we're not going to grip. You're never going to grip when you're salsa dancing. Instead, just match the tension in the pads of the fingers. That's going to be enough to lead and follow any of these combos. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, and guide her across. Five, six, seven. Now, don't worry, this is one of the trickiest fundamental moves, but you do need to get it because it's in everything. Every really complicated pattern is basically cross body lead after cross body lead after cross body lead with a turn. Uh, so you really have to get this down. We're going to do it again and again and again. Let's try to do cross body lead, full basic, cross body lead, full basic. Here we go. Cross body lead. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, five, six, seven, and basic. One, two, three, five, six, cross body lead. One, two, clear the way. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, again, cross body lead. Two, three, walk, walk, face each other. One, two, three, five, six. Again, we go. One, two, three, five, six, seven, and one, two, three. Last time, six, seven, and one, two, three, five, six, seven, and one. So make sure that your body is facing forward by three and continues to face forward until you make it to the other side. This is what I mean. He clears one, two, three. Now ask yourself, am I actually stepping forward or am I turning to face my partner or a lot of people cross behind instinctually? Instead, step forward. Five, step forward and turn six, face your partner, seven. Let's do it again. Cross body lead, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, guide her across, six, seven. All right, we're going to put everything that we've done so far together. It'll be basic, right turn, basic, cross body lead. Let's do it. Basic, six, seven, eight, and basic, two, three, five, six, seven. J prep, hand up, halo, six, seven, and basic, two, three, five. Now cross body lead, one, two, three, guide her across, six, seven, back to basic, one, two, three, and five, six, seven. Good, let's try it again just like that and then we'll try it to some slow music. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, five, six, seven, J prep, two, three, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, cross body lead, and one, two, three, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, five, six, seven. Let's do this to a little music. All right, let's do everything that we know. Basic, right turn, basic, cross body lead. Here we go. It's five, six, 
Five, six, seven, eight, basic. Shake breath, break turn. And basic. Cross body lead. edition, we're going to add a dip. It looks like this. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, and one. Now, the first three steps are the basic for the follow and crossbody lead feet for the lead. Let's just go to three. Six, seven, eight, it's one, two, three. So you know this piece already. It's the same thing as your cross body lead. Here's the change up. On five, you're going to prep her to her right. So both hands are going to go out five. Let's just do that much again from the top. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, five. Now, why do we do this? Because there's always a wind up before a turn. So, when you prep away from your body on five, it gives the space to turn her inside by bringing your hand in toward you. It also helps the timing of the hips. So if you were to turn me one count early while my left hip is going forward, it would feel like this. But instead, if you wait till six, my right hip is coming and will create the momentum that will make it feel smooth to go into that inside turn. Let's try it again. Six, seven, freeze on five. One, two, three, go to five. Now for the follow, you have to make sure that you don't step too far out of the line on five. You wanna stay in front of yourself. Six, seven, and one, two, three, step forward, five. My chest is facing the outside corner and my hands follow the lead's hands, but I did not cross over here. Let's try again and freeze on five. Six, seven, eight is one, two, three, freeze, five. So now your arm is away from you and you're going to use this left hand to draw the halo around my head. Bring your arm in toward you as you draw the halo. This is six and seven. I'm going to get into position which looks like this. So at the end of that turn, I have my right hand wrapped around the lead's waist and my left hand is here on top of the arm. We're gonna rotate like this so you can see what I'm talking about. Good. All right, let's try it again. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, out on five. Come in on six and finish on seven, wrap. Now, if you're not done exactly on seven, it's okay, you just wanna make sure you took two steps to get into that position, and then you'll transfer your weight to your right before the dip. Let's do it again. Six, seven, eight, it's one, two, three, five, turn the follow, 
finish turning the follow and in position. Now, on eight, I'm going to transfer my weight to my right, which is an extra step because this is breaking from that traditional one, two, three, five, six, seven timing to enable to execute the dip on one. Usually dips happen on big breaks or the end of the music, and that's going to be on one. I'm getting into position here with the help of my lead. When this circle is done going over my head, the lead takes my arm and goes, give me a hug around the waist. And then I know I need to clear this arm and be on top. Let's try it again. Six, seven, eight is one, two, three, and out to come in and position. All my weight is on my right foot. You'll notice the right side of my body is in the middle of my lead's chest. So we didn't end up here face to face. Instead, the side of my body is in the middle of my lead's body. For my lead, you have the right arm wrapped around the waist here and the left arm just below the shoulder blade. For the dip, I want you to remember a couple of things. Follows are always going to carry their weight on their own leg. It's really tempting and you see it all the time to just dive and say, catch me, and then you blow out the guy's back. Don't do that. Instead, control your own weight on your own leg, and that's going to be your right leg, the one that's closest to your partner. So I am taking myself back during the dip. And the other thing to remember is I decide the depth of the dip. My leader should not be forcing me down because you don't know what range I have here or if I have a neck injury, etc., etc. What the lead has to do is make sure I don't crash into anybody and just give the signal, I've got you, you're stable, and I can go back for the dip. So this will be one, and you can hold it here as long as you want, especially if it's at the end of a song, you can drag it out because it'll be the finish. The other thing we need to remember is that the lead needs nice, stable, strong legs here. You hope that your partner knows what she's doing and won't throw herself over your arm, but you always need to be prepared for anything. Sometimes all this momentum from the turn is going to carry you that way anyway. So being stable here with a nice wide stance, and offering a little bit of counterweight away from me is going to allow this to feel way more secure for your partner. Now, it helps with momentum, but it's scary to charge at it from the beginning. So we will take it slow, but know that actually with a little bit of speed, it feels easier. Here we go. Six, seven, eight. It's one, two, three, go out to come in and dip. Let's do it again from the other side. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, and dip. Let's try it a couple more times to make sure we have it down. And it's okay if you don't get it this round. It's not a beginner move, but they're really fun and they're usually in every dance. So getting your dip down so you can really hit those nice hits or finish the song with a little pizzazz is really nice and something that you will want to include in your repertoire. This is a big picture kind of idea. Here we go. The dip. Cross body inside into that dip. Six, seven, eight is one, two, three. Prep for out to come in, wrap, then go back. Now, it is also okay for the follow to lift the leg here but just know that it does take a little more of your weight in the direction that you're trying not to fall. <laughs> so it's an option, but uh, yeah, totally up to the discretion of the follow. Again, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, out to come in and dip. Let's try it from the other side. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, out to come in, wrap, secure, dip. All right, so we don't forget everything. Let's take it from the top. We'll go basic, 
right turn, basic, cross body lead. We'll do that pattern three times, and then at the end of the third one, we'll do our dip. Here we go, basic first. Make sure you check out our other dance videos at danceruniversity.com. Hit the subscribe and notification button so you know whenever we upload another video. And like and share our videos so your other friends can get on board and you'll have more people to dance with. Also, if you leave me a comment, I'd be happy to answer any dance-related questions. Let's connect on social media. You can find me on Instagram, gill.nicole, TikTok, Nicole Gill Dance. And on Facebook at Dance Salsa LA, where I post all of my events and classes in Los Angeles.